Think of this as a big toolbox. A lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> we tried on all of our, our trucks. Wow. We have uh, pretty much most of the same equipment. So the firefighters, they may, oftentimes, you know, they, they, uh, they may work at another station, you know, from time to time. It's not their assigned station. And if they do, you know, the trucks are pretty much similar. It may be in different departments, but the equipment is pretty much the same. That way, there's not a big learning curve. But we have everything from um, this is what this right here is called a positive pressure fan. Um, at a structure fire, when we set this up, what we're doing is we're pushing that fire and we're pushing that smoke out. So as the firefighters is going in, it's pushing the smoke and fire away from them, and it actually helps ventilate the structure also. We have all types of nozzles. This right here, we have portable generators. We have um, tarps, ropes, shovels, pry bars, crowbars, axes, of course. We have medical equipment. We have all types of hoses. So again, it's a big toolbox. And that's just on this one side. We have extra um, SCBA bottles. These are what we put on our packs when we wear inside of the house. It has 45 minutes worth of air. 45. 45 minutes worth of air. Now, going back to when we were talking about staying in shape, that 45 minute bottle, if you're not in shape, it may go in five minutes. Because <laughs> you're breathing so fast. That's true. Uh, see the pipe? Uh, we hook this up to our exhaust. So that way, when you start the truck up and uh, you relieve, that exhaust that comes out of the truck, it goes up through these pipes, filters on the outside, versus us breathing it in. Oh, okay. Because, uh, you know, again, back in the older days, we didn't have this. So again, you know, we start these trucks up, all these, all the exhaust and the carbon monoxide, whatnot, is actually in the building, and we're breathing it in. 